Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful Easter tide. I'm just making this video to talk about Easter Vigil and how that went. It was a really long day because I had to get up early for the retreat that we had and I also had confession during the retreat so that was really nice. But um, it was quite a day. I actually cried during confession because I was going over you know, everything in my life and just thinking about how even though I did so many things and I still fail God, he's so good to me. And he led me to the church even though I I rejected him for, for a while. As some of you might have known by reading in my testimony posts that for a while I, I left Christianity. And I mean just all these things and the way I lived and everything and God still led me to the church. So thinking about all of that while I was in confession made me cry. But there were tears of joy, so, so, so that's really good, but it was quite a day. So then afterwards, I watched The Passion with my friend, so that was really nice. We prayed the rosary together, then I started getting ready. <sighs> and it was just, it was a lot to take in. Because I first decided to convert October 7, 2015, so it had been a long time. And, okay, so I finished getting ready, I walked to the chapel, and... I waited I was in the alb I was ready to go and I really liked them um, the beginning with the candles I was a little nervous though because we were all close together and I was worried that some hair would catch on fire but everything went really well and then okay I was sitting there I was calm somewhat <laughs> at least I wasn't crying yet and I was listening to the readings Genesis is one of my favorite books of the Old Testament so that was really nice I really liked the Genesis reading they're all really nice. I'm just like, okay, calm down. Let's be calm. And then the baptism started. And that's when I started crying. I, I've already been baptized. I was baptized um, in the Methodist denomination. But um, three people in our group of seven were baptized. So watching them go up, that's when I started crying. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all these wonderful young people giving their lives to Jesus. That just, <sighs> more tears of joy. It was so beautiful. so beautiful I was just looking at them and like crying and I'm a crier as you can probably tell but in the confirmation and that's when I went up and that was more crying I tried to contain the crying but um it was a struggle I was wearing lashes that day and you can't cry while you're wearing false lashes so I tried to hold it in I mean, tears of joy are good, but not now with false lashes. I was able to preserve the lashes the whole day, so that's good. But, um, so yeah, confirmation. That was amazing. He really used a lot of the chrism oil. It smelled really good, though. <laughs> the first time ever smelling it. Um... Actually, in the Holy Thursday procession, I, I carried the chrism oil, so that was nice. But oh, I just felt like everything's here, it's finally real, I'm really excited, and it's just, I guess crying is how I respond to happy things. <sighs> and then communion. After communion was when I officially started bawling. Um... I, my friends had to hug me afterwards because I just kept going. Um, and then we we walked we walked back to our pews and I, I turned in and looked at this lady, total stranger, but we just locked eyes and I was crying, smiling through my tears, and she smiled back at me. And even though we're literally strangers, but I just felt this bond in that moment. And now I'm officially a daughter of the church. And I have all these wonderful brothers and sisters. So even though we didn't know each other, we still have this bond. And I think that's what was beautiful about that moment. And then we had a party afterwards. That was really nice. And then the next day I went to a Latin Mass close to campus. And I've been trying to go to daily Mass when I can. Um, because of my class schedule, sometimes it's hard to go on campus, but thanks be to God next semester, I will be going to daily mass every day. 
I've been really praying about my schedule because I was like, God, if I get this schedule, then I can go to La I can go to daily mass every day. And after RCA ends officially, I can go to Latin Mass every Sunday since it's close by. I've been really praying about it, and registration was this morning. Everything went well, so I will be able to go to daily Mass on campus every day, so that will be really nice. But as of this semester, I can go twice a week. So I just get really excited to go to Mass all the time, so it's so much fun. I'm so excited, and it's just... I'm really, it's exciting for me because I've waited so long to receive Jesus and now I can. And it's just every time I go to Mass, I'm just always really excited. I'm trying to contain the excitement, trying to, you know, be, but not, it's just, I just have a lot of emotions, as you can probably tell. But on Thursday, um, after Mass, this man approached me, and I've been going to um, daily Mass on campus since last semester, but um, since I had purple hair for a good amount of time, and since I'm the only one who wears a veil, I'm kind of recognizable. But even though my hair is black now, as you can see, um, still, I can be recognized. But afterwards, this man came up to me and asked if I'm a new Catholic, and I said yes, and I was wondering how he could tell. And he said that he has seen me for a while since last semester, but this was a, this week was the first time I'd ever gone up for communion. And he congratulated me, we talked about the faith, and it was really nice. And I just feel so welcomed. And one thing I really love is how, um, how we um, say, like someone converts, welcome home. I think that's so beautiful. Such a beautiful thing to say. And it's so full of meaning. And I really do feel like I've been welcomed home. I just finally feel like the core part of my identity is complete. And now, it took a while to finally hit me, but now going to Mass is different in a way. And I just, I look forward to, to every time I go to Mass. And I mean, I always have, but now it's, it's different. And It's hard to find the words to describe how it feels, but it's it's truly special. I mean, th there's nothing else like it. I just really want to thank God for leading me to the church. So let's end with a prayer and thank God for, you know, all the converts we had. And in, in the U.S. alone, we had 30,000 um, coming to the church this Easter Vigil. So let's say a prayer for them to end this video. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Lord, thank you for all your blessings and graces. Thank you for the church, for the sacraments, and thank you for leading me to your Catholic Church. And I thank you for all of the converts who recede into the Church of Easter Vigil, and we pray for them today that they may continue to grow in faith, and stay close to you and be bold in their defense of the faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for praying for me. It's been a wonderful journey, but it's just getting started. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.